Hey folks, it is a beautiful 44 degrees out right now. I am still sick, so there's that funness. Uh, but I'm out here filling up our water barrels. Um, so I thought I would talk about what we do for water in the winter for our pigs. So uh, most of the week here in Southern Missouri, we get temperatures above freezing for a, for a few days, right? Like it's, we will get later this week, and that's what's uh, spurred me to talk about this right now, is this is the first time I've had to not use barrels uh, for the year because we're gonna have a few days below zero. Uh, the low, I think it's Thursday, is negative 10. Um, and so there, and there are a few days that are that, uh, but like four days this week, it doesn't get above freezing. So what we do when it starts to get to where it's not gonna consistently be above freezing, um, is we start using pans again. And so I usually have to buy new pans every year that don't have damage to the sides. I like the rubber ones because they last longer and I can flip them over and smash the ice out. Um, but most of the winter, I, so I don't pull the barrels and take them out or anything. And I keep every day that it is above freezing enough that my hose is thoroughly thawed, I go and I top off the barrels um, and I make sure everybody has access to the barrels. So oftentimes, so like we use either the dark blue or the black for our barrels. One, because the clear ones grow too much algae, but these darker colors, the sun heats them up. And as long as it's like 38 to 40 plus degrees, those barrels will thaw enough here with the sunshine to to provide water for them. So then I know that there's a backup water source. And I go through and I check, like if I'm just assuming, I'll never just assume that that barrel has water for them. I will go through and check the nipple if that's what I'm relying on, uh, because then it'll save me the time of having to bucket out water. Because I'm not real great about dragging my hose out. And, um, and if the barrel is frozen, but it's still warm enough that the hose is thawed, fantastic. Because we use black hoses for the most part. The end length of our hose is red, so it's not as effective at, at thawing that way. Um, but it's like 300 foot of hose, I don't drain it. Um, I just, I'm not doing that. Um, but the what we use is we use these pans for the rest of the time. And that's a 15 gallon pan, which, um, really is like four buckets of water, right? If you got about, you're really only carrying about four gallons in a bucket so that you have room to slosh around, um, which would be about 16 gallons. So you're pretty well there. You're going to spill some, the pigs are going to spill some. Um, but for a small group of pigs, that's more than enough, right? So like our breeding groups are four pigs. So that's plenty. That's four gallons per head per day. That's more than they really need. Really, they only need about two gallons. Um, so I'm not really worried. And even though he has this barrel, okay, he's drinking out of that puddle. Which if you have pigs, that's not a surprise to you at all. Um, it's annoying because like we go to all this work to make sure they have nice clean water and he's gonna drink out of that puddle anyways. Even though he, like, he's trained to the barrel. It's not like he's not trained to a barrel. He is. So, anywho. Um, yeah, that's our, that's our winter water system is that I'll just bucket out water. Um, it is, it does give a nice chance to make sure because I'll use, uh, I'll often, if I can't fill it up at the bib because that's so frozen, right? And that's usually only if it's like, because we put the covers on it. Um, really if it's like below 20, then that's frequently frozen, but it's also in the sun. So anywhere above 20, it's, it's good. And I'm not worried about it. Um, so we'll bucket water out. If it's below 20, I usually have to bring it from in the house. And so I'll run warm water or even hot on a couple of the pitchers into the buckets because I have to fill them with pitchers from the sink. It's a real big pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie. Like I don't have an efficient system for this. Um, but it's not terrible. We always run one set of pigs up at the pond. So they always have access to the pond for water. And I just go up there and make sure that there's an area busted out for them. Usually they do a good job of stepping on the ice um, if any is built up uh, and they can, they have plenty of water. So then there's only the other breeding group, the feeders and piglets when we have them in the cold, which we do right now. So really that's three groups. Plus right now I have toast I have to take water to. Um, but a lot of the winter we have the barrels functioning. So it's not terrible. Um, Southern Missouri is pretty great about that. Uh, you know, I'll probably be saying a different story later on in January and February when it gets really, really cold and I'm bucketing almost every day. But uh, a lot of the year we, we don't have to worry about it and it's pretty nice. Um, but when we do, 
I just use these pans. Uh, and I get the rubber ones so that I can flip them over and stomp the ice out of them. Um, I don't like the hard-sided ones. And then when they tear it down the side, because eventually that happens to all of them, that's what we start using as feed pans. Uh, and we'll cycle out the worst of the feed pans from the previous year to use these ones. And then I just buy a new set every, every year or so. Um, yeah, there you go. That's our winter water system and how we deal with that. Thank you to our Patreon supporters, Hunter and Ashley and Raymond Hunter. I don't know why I get that wrong so frequently. Um, <laughs> thank you to the rest of you that made it in the end of this video. If you find the content useful or want to follow along with our farm, please hit that subscribe button. You all have a great week.